What's up everyone, TechLoud here and in this video I'm going to show you the air command tips and tricks on Samsung Galaxy Note 3. This is the part 6 of uh, this series and uh, let's see what are those tips regarding the air command. As you guys already know that there are actually settings for S Pen that if you take out your S Pen it will automatically launch the air command and air command is actually the most advertised feature on Note 3. So what it will do is actually it gives you five shortcuts for different tasks. The first one is the action memo. You can launch action memo using that but you might not be aware that you can launch action memo and all other things without going to the air command. For that you need to hold the S Pen button and double click your screen and as you can see it has already launched the action memo. No need to go for the air command first and then go to the action memo. So what the action memo can do for you actually recognize the things that you have written in the action memo. For example if you have written the phone number it will recognize that if you have written an email address it will recognize that so let's put a dummy number and when I press this button it will give me options for either dial the phone number save it in the contacts provided I have written the name as well otherwise I have to input the name when it is going to save the contact I can send message I can send email if this is a web address I can open the website if it is the location it, I can open location and if it is some appointment I can store it in the calendar so let's write down an address so that you can find that address on uh, the Google map So let's click the location and as you can see it has automatically gone to that location and it is showing that location in the map so it's very handy and when you go out of the maps it's still there and you can maximize it this is just the example of location you can uh, use it for all the things that I've already mentioned here the next one in the air command is the scrapbook either you can launch the scrapbook like that or or you can directly select and copy certain area of the screen website or anything you want for example if I want to capture this part of the screen all I have to do is hold the button and use the S Pen like that it will automatically as you can see it will automatically copy that portion of the screen and it has given me option to actually amend my selection this one is the free form this one is the circle it will only take the circle and this one is the square one and the last one with the magnet it will give me two options the plus one is to add in the selection or minus is to exclude into the selection if I press add and I add more areas as you can see here I can add actually this area I can add more area if I want so I can continue to uh, edit this selection if I go to minus it will subtract that area as you can see it has already subtract that area from the selection so that's how it goes also you have an option for undo redo and all that you also have help here the third one is the screen right either you can click here it will take a screenshot and you can write anything you want on the screenshot and save it share it or anything you like another shortcut is you have to hold your uh, S Pen button and tap the pen like that and keep on holding and it will take the screenshot and you can write anything it's the same thing actually 
it's the same thing doing in a different way the next one is s finder as you can see that's the fourth one as you can see that's the fourth one you can tap it like that and it will launch the s finder or you can avoid this headache and simply press the menu and hold it and it will launch the s finder and you can find all sort of things from different apps from contacts from contacts email messages and other apps you can search all these things you can also search online as well and the last one is the pen window where you can actually draw a window and you can launch the app from the selected apps and you can use it as a multitasking window and you can do all sort of things on the remaining area and this window will remain there if you minimize that app it will it will show up on the screen like that and you can drag it anywhere in the corner you want and after you have uh, completed some other task and you can then still return to this and you can click this one and you can start where you left it off samsung has not baked in any alternative shortcut for the pen window whereas all other four has alternative launch options as I have already shown you for the action memo for scrapbooker for screen write and s finder but there is no alternative shortcut for pen window you have to use uh, this air command to launch the pen window and if you want an alternative way to launch the pen window the only option you have is go to the play store and search for pen window launcher and this actually will enable you to launch the pen window without your S Pen and you can use your finger to draw that uh, box and launch the application within that box and also this will be handy if you are using some third party launcher instead of TouchWiz but it will cost you around $1.50 so it's up to you whether you want to spend that much money or not whether the customization options of a third party launcher has any worth for you so guys this was the air command the comprehensive uh, walkthrough using the S Pen and also the other alternative shortcuts as well I hope that you have liked the video and subscribe for more tips and tricks for different devices I'll see you later bye